proud of our kids, Anna and her husband Dana, Kat and her husband Ari, Jonathan and his wife Justine, and of course, my six beautiful grandchildren, Rigby, Sadie, Teo, Jasper, Paula, and Gus. Kat and Ari, Rigby and Teo came up to Connecticut, to New Haven, so that we could be a pod and that we could campaign together. I am confident that America is about to fire Donald Trump. Joe Biden will win the Electoral College and have a very big popular majority. I wish we could be together in person celebrating this win for the people. But this virus has changed every part of our lives. But tonight, we take this country back and we move in a dramatically different direction. Even before the pandemic, people were already struggling with pay that was not keeping up with the skyrocketing costs of health care, housing, education. And now they are in free fall. This pandemic is a health and an economic crisis that we have not seen in a generation. We need bold plans to create jobs for affordable health care, for quality schools. We need to make government work for the middle class and not just the richest in this country. And tonight, the people of Connecticut said yes to that future. And importantly, they said no to surrendering to the virus, no to abandoning people in need at their time of need, no to the Republicans in Washington who do not believe that government can or that government should help, who do not believe that science should guide our policy, who do not believe that workers must be protected, who do not think America has a history of discrimination to address, who believe they can hold on to power by suppressing every possible vote. In this district, they said no. They said no to a candidate who ran a scurrilous and a racist campaign. I go to Washington for the people. I go to vanquish leaders that govern for the big corporations and billionaires that outsource our jobs. It is working families that need a break. And it is government which can and must play a role in helping people get a better chance at a better life. In the U.S. House of Representatives, I chair the subcommittee that directs federal funding for working people, the Labor, Health, Human Services, and Education Subcommittee. Our work has been at the center of the congressional response to the pandemic. We secured $280 billion for education, for health, and for working people. But so much more is needed, much more. The Congress right now needs to put party aside and get help for small businesses and those who are unemployed. And during the COVID crisis, my efforts translated into law critical funds for our public health infrastructure, like PPE, increased testing and vaccine development, funds to help schools K through 12 and universities that deal with the shutdown. The very first ever national standard for paid sick days and increased food security benefits to help those families who need to put food on their table. In the new Congress, Democrats will be working with President Joe Biden. And my goal is for him to sign into law the Healthy Families Act for paid sick days. The Family Act.